Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The United Nations Weather Agency has set yet another record for climate fraud. The Canadian Broadcast Corporation reports, 38C temperature in Siberia smashed Arctic heat record, United Nations Agency confirms. They say that 100 degrees inside the Arctic Circle is a new Arctic record and it would have been almost impossible without climate change. This occurred on the 20th of June 2020. The new record sounds pretty scary, except that it isn't true. The official high temperature for Alaska was 100 degrees Fahrenheit on June 27, 1915 at Fort Yukon inside the Arctic Circle. This is the official NOAA map for their Fort Yukon, Alaska station, and it's located north of the Arctic Circle. The same thing happened 105 years earlier when carbon dioxide levels were down around 300 parts per million. The New York Times reported on this official record temperature of 100 degrees inside the Arctic Circle in 1922. And National Geographic reported the same thing in their August 1922 edition. Arctic explorer Stephenson explained why the Arctic gets more heat than the equator at midsummer. And this chart from NASA explains it graphically. The North Pole receives more solar radiation than any place else on Earth at midsummer. This is because the sun is up 24 hours a day and it's relatively high in the sky at the end of June. Stephenson traveled the world trying to clear up these misconceptions about what the Arctic summer was like. In 1927, a group of motorists traveled north of the Arctic Circle in Lapland in Finland. They traveled 270 miles north of the Arctic Circle, prepared for freezing weather. To their continued astonishment, the temperature was never less than 90 degrees or 32 degrees Celsius in the shade. Their intention was to reach the Arctic Ocean, but 40 miles of marsh country on the coast prevented this. An average of 210 miles a day was made on the journey, which was arduous in the extreme, and at one time the car had an actual race with death among the forest fires in Sweden. They were surprised to find persistent heat melting permafrost and forest fires in the Arctic Circle. It appears that either the World Meteorological Organization doesn't understand weather, or they're simply lying. One would think that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration might want to correct the UN error, but the exact opposite is true. They're playing along with the same scam. They say that 100 degrees in the Arctic is an all-time record, even though their own data says it isn't. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on these frauds and scamsters for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Curier, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.